Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Yo bien sorprendida porque nadie me dice good evening. <laughs> How are you, Emma? Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mayrita. No la escuché a Mayra, se dijo fine o oh, ay, teacher. <laughs> Las dos, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cecilia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, very good. You girls, it's Monday, everybody. It's lunes. Ya sé, ya tenemos sueñito, pero <laughs> you need to uh, you need to wake up. Tómense un cafecito, all right, sin azúcar, ya van a estar despiertos toda la clase. <laughs> all right, everybody. I can't ice skate very well. Ahora vamos a iniciar la section five. Today we're going to start section five. We are in class 13. You guys, imagínense, ya esta semana finaliza este level, everybody. Luego van al level three. It's amazing. Está súper genial, all right, porque van avanzando. Y espero que con la misma vayan aprendiendo, everybody. Y también, a ver, consulta. Ya terminaron la sección 4. Everyone? Yes, yes. Yes, voy. teacher. Very good, very good. Si no se me queden atrás, everybody. Si les surge una duda, háganla, please, porque pues, yo quiero que todos continúen con esto. Y ya saben que para continuar con este, eh, con este aprendizaje tienen que completar la plaza. All right. Y los felicito porque hasta ahorita nadie me ha fallado la clase. That's great. Excellent. All right, everyone. Let's get started. Let's check this one. I know. <laughs> I know that we already finished section four. Yo sé que ya terminamos la sección cuatro, right? Pero vamos a hacer un warming up, como un calentamiento. A ver si nos recordamos, si nos acordamos, mejor dicho, cómo pronunciar el vocabulary of this reading. So I will start. Yo comienzo. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. Gra one grape for good luck in each month of the year. Right? Una uva por cada mes del año. Por eso se comen dos. <laughs> right? So let's go to the second paragraph. On New Year's Day, in Japan, no me vayan a decir Japan aquí, all right? Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year, all right? Para la fuerza o la fortaleza del nuevo año. And then we have the third paragraph. Some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars, right? Dinero. <laughs> Básicamente dinero. Comparan esa comida con el dinero, right? So, es una tradición que ellos tienen. It's okay. We're not bothered for that. Let's get started. Ahora les toca a ustedes, all right? Let's start with Marvin. Good evening, Marvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Marvin? Um... More or less. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Okay, excellent, Marvin. Tell me paragraph number one, please. Okay. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grab at midnight on New Year's. Even one grab for good luck in each month of the new year. Mm -hmm, exactly. Thank you, Marvin. Let's go with number two on New Year's Day. Let's listen to Beatriz Campo. Number two, Campos. Number two, please. Good evening. Good evening, Beatriz. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Very good to hear you. Action. On New Year's Day in Japanese, Japan, people ate mochi, rice, cake for string, in the new New York. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. And Thank Emma, you. 
Paragraph number three, please. Emma, I know that you have the microphone open, but I can't hear you. Ahora sí. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Sí. After the from, what is the pronunciation? After what? After the from. Esta, the from. Southern. Yes, yes. Southern. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Very good, excellent lady, mm -hmm. thank you. Let's listen to Cecilia Romero, number one, please. Paragraph number one and Mayrene, paragraph number two. Okay. In Spanish and some letting American countries, people eat 12 grapes at mid -nick on New Year's, on New Year's, and on grape for good. Look in each month of the New Year. Excellent. Repeat after me, Cecilia, please. Midnight. Midnight. Ajá. Y este que sería one. One, one. Exactly. One great. Okay. Una, una. One great. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Cecilia. Let's go with my nene. Paragraph number two. In New York, they in Japan. People raise mochi rice, cake for a stream in the New York. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. And the third okay. paragraph. Mayra, please. Some Americans. Some Americans from Southern States ate lead, ate peas, <coughs> and rice with colored greens. The black eight peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Excellent. Very good. All right, you guys. Those are only the traditions, right? Like in El Salvador, I think that the only tradition that we have is the one of the grapes, right? Many people have uh, that tradition. Muchas personas tienen esa, tra esa tradición aquí en El Salvador, right? De comerse las 12 uvas a las 12 de la noche. <laughs> sí, a las 12, at midnight, sí, a medianoche. All right, that's the only tradition. So let's move on, everybody. Let's get started with the vocabulary for today's class. So we have... A sports season in the U.S. and Canada. Aquí no vamos a decir en la U, nos vamos a decir in the U.S. and Canada. So, let me, let me introduce you to the vocabulary. Voy a decir primero yo el vocabulary, luego los voy a poner a ustedes a practicar. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, in the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding. Mucho cuidado con esta palabra, everybody. Reading, reading is leer y riding is montar, all right? In este caso, tenemos riding, right? Riding. Um, go hiking, hiking. Aquí no es hiking, aquí es go hiking, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing, right? Ice skating es patinaje sobre hielo, right? Cosa que no tenemos aquí. <ríe> y luego está el go skin. Tampoco lo tenemos aquí. Go skin es, eh, creo que se logra ver aquí la imagen, right La gente se pone los skis, que valga la redundancia, ¿verdad? Skis para patinar sobre la nieve. right Ese es patinaje sobre nieve y el otro es patinaje sobre hielo. Very different. Son bien diferentes. All right. Now it's your turn. Let's get started with 
Juan José Pineda. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Hello, good evening. All right, please tell me the vocabulary. Me dice todo el vocabulary, please. Sí. It's natural. This is sport session in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play base, be, baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go, go bike riding, go hiking. <clears throat> In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Skiing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, go skiing. Too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Exactly. Sí, tenemos las dos y entonces hay que hacer ese énfasis en skiing. All right. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Let's go with Raquel Santos. Please. Good evening, Raquelita. Ay, no la escucho. Veo que tiene el micrófono encendido, pero no la escucho. Uh, I don't know why, Raquel. Let's go with them. Thank you, Raquel. Let's go with Kimberly. Okay, a sports season in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike reading. Go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skinning. All right, excellent. Skin. Very good, Kimberly. Repeat after me, Kimberly. Go bike riding. Go bike riding. Riding. That's correct. Excellent. Casi como si tuviera a everybody, right? Writing. Let's go with Nestor Amilcar, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Good, good, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Nestor. Welcome. Thank you. Sports season in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play bus, play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go go by reading, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go high skating, go skiing. Very good, Nestor. Thank you. Repeat after Thank me. You. Go by riding. Go by riding. Very good, excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, eh, Raquel, let's let's check. Veamos si ya le funciona el audio. No. No yet, Raquelita, todavía no. Eh, sorry about that. Let's go with Cecilia Rodriguez. Please tell me the vocabulary. Okay. Sports season in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basket, basketball, tennis, volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go by riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. That's great. Excellent, Cecilia. Very good. Hello. 
Yay! Hoy sí, Yay. Rebeca. Ya la escuchamos. Good evening, sorry. Good evening. Don't worry, no se preocupe, Raquel. Uh, tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. It's per season in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people uh, play golf, play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people uh, play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Mm -hmm. That's correct, Raquel. Thank you. Now, everybody, let's check in El Salvador. Um, we don't have all of the seasons, right? Tal vez, no que quizás no tengamos todas estas eh, temporadas, porque seasons es temporadas, right? Es más bien que no se reflejan tan bien como en otros países, all right? Porque, por ejemplo, para nosotros el winter es cuando llueve, o sea, invierno, invierno, cuando llueve aquí. Y en otros países en realidad ahí solo nieva, solo um, cae nieve y, y está bien frío, pero no es que en realidad uh, rains, no es que en realidad llueva, right? Entonces esas son como las variations that we have. Now, we have a plenty or a priority of sports over here. Which are the most usual sports that we play in El Salvador? ¿Cuáles son los deportes que quizás más practicamos en El Salvador? From those. De esos. We play soccer. Uh -huh. play soccer. Basketball. Volleyball. Play tennis. Play tennis. How many people play tennis, right? Climbing. Now. Um, what they also, there's something called climbing by el hiking. Es cuando eh, escalan, all right? escalan, puede ser el volcán aquí en El Salvador, que si hacen hiking, all right? um, y el climbing, que también es de escalar, pero el climbing es con, con arnés, all right? cuando ya se ponen arnés y van a un punto específico, ese es otro sport que también se hace aquí en El Salvador. Now, those are the variations that we have from our country. Let's go to the guiding examples. El propósito de este vocabulary, everybody, es que ustedes vean cómo, fíjense, llevamos el simple present. Hemos estado trabajando bastante tiempo con el simple present, pero en diverso tipo de material, all right? Con diverso, con una diversidad increíble de vocabulary que ustedes tienen que tener aquí, all right? Todo ese vocabulary, parts of the house, eh, meals, las comidas, right? Y ahora ya tenemos esto también, que es los sports, right? So, let's get into the business. Cecilia Romero, tell me sentence number one, please. Okay, number one. In the spring, Mary plays soccer. That's correct. Excellent. Emma, number two, please. Number two. In summer, my parents go swimming. Exactly, thank you. Alexis, Hurtado, number three, in the fall. Before Matias was by trading. That's correct. And Alexis Balmore, number four, please. In the winter, I'm playing basketball. Exactly, that's correct. What are we gonna do? Ya teniendo estos examples, ya se los voy a poner dentro de unos instantes, ¿ok? Ahorita nos vamos a ir al practice time. Cuando terminemos de explicar las instructions, voy a volver a esas otras oraciones para que ustedes las tengan de ejemplo. So, let's listen to... Um, Kimberly, please, tell me the instructions. Practice. This time, work individually, individually, create at least four sentences with the vocabulary learned, compare your sentences with the class. 
That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. All right. You are going to compare your sentences with the class. That's basically uh, the thing that we always do, right? Siempre al final ustedes comparten sus oraciones con la clase. Notice something. Ya les voy a poner. Dice que tienen que crear cuatro. Si por algún motivo no quieren crear las cuatro, creen al menos tres, all right? Porque ahorita tienen la oportunidad de crear sentences. Vamos con oraciones chiquititas y sencillas. Pero ya con el pasar del tiempo y ustedes también avancen en su aprendizaje with your knowledge, con su conocimiento, ya van a empezar a crear conversations y también eh, paragraphs. So, you must practice with the sentences. Teacher, only two sentences. No, four. <laughs> four. Yes, but if you don't want to create four, it's okay with three. All right? Porque soy buena gente, está bien con tres, Emma. All right? Finished. Excellent. Very good. You finished. Very good. Now let's start. Let me listen to Raquel after Raquel Emma. In the summer, I win. I swim to Guatapeque Lake. In the summer, my boyfriend and I go to bike riding in the Cafetalón. 
in the winter, Susan goes to play tennis and squash. In the summer, my friends and I go to camping. All right, excellent, very good. That's correct, Raquel, thank you. Very okay. good use of the verbs. Muy buen uso de los verbs, okay? Let's go with Emma. Teacher, how do you say montaña? What is the pronunciation? Uh, mount. Mount. Mm -hmm. Mount. Okay. Así como si fuera mount. Mount. <laughs> All right. Así como boca. Ah, uh, is that mouth? Uh, mouth. Mount. Uh -huh. Mouth. Okay, uh -huh. mount. In the spring, I like go to the mount. In the fall, I go to hiking. In the summer, I like to practice tennis. Very good, excellent. Oh. Solo que ahí le escuché un go to hiking. Yo le recomiendo que le recomiendo que ponga go hiking, nada más. Y ahí sí está bien. Right? Sí, el two. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Go hiking. Okay. Go hiking. Very good. Excellent, Emma. Thank you. Do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro voluntario. Excellent, Marvin, thank you. Okay, my sentences are number one. Uh, in El Salvador, the popular sport, the popular sport are soccer and basketball. Number two, in the summer, I play football with my friend and co-worker. Co uh, in the winter, I play basketball and chess. Carlos is very, very good basketball player. Very good, excellent, Marvin. Those sentences are correct. Well Thank structured, you. están bien estructuradas, right? Let's go with Mayra. In the fall, George go, goes hiking. In the summer, we play volleyball. In the spring, Anna plays soccer. In the winter, they play basketball. Very good, excellent, Mayra, bravo. Do I have another volunteer? Uh -huh. Miss Rodriguez, action. In the winter, my son plays the guitar. In summer, I love go to the beach. In the fall, my mother drinks coffee with milk. In the spring, Susana go, goes to the park and plays basketball. Bravo, very good, Ms. Rodriguez. Thank you. Gracias. Excellent. Well structured. Muy bien estructuradas, estructuradas. Do I have another volunteer or I pick and choose? Tengo otro voluntario. Tienes teacher. Oh, yo ya. <laughs> Let me go with uh, Cecilia Romero, please. Okay. One. Number one. Ernesto in the summer play soccer. Number two. In the summer I walk, walk in the park. And number three, in the winter, I like to read books. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> y la última que aquí no sé si cómo le, si le he formado bien, pero bueno, dice, in the uh, number four, in the summer, my husband high on the volcano. No sé si así es la estructura. Mm. Puede decir heights. Hikes the volcano. Hikes the volcano. The volcano. En vez de hacerlo así con ING como está aquí, hiking, puede uh -huh. poner hikes the volcano. Sube uh -huh. el volcán, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Hikes okay. the volcano. Thank you. Very good, Cecilia. Excellent. Check. Let's go with somebody else. Do I have another participant? 
Okay, I'll start pick and choose then. Juan José Pineda, thank you. Siempre sal, alguien siempre salva al grupo, right? Cuando yo voy a empezar a decir pick and choose, alguien levanta la mano. Excellent, very good. Okay. Uh, number one, in the winter, I play video games. Number two, in the summer, my friends go swimming. Number three, in the spring, I play pool. Number four, in the fall, Helen goes jumping. Cuerda, no sé si es pie. Rope. Oh, perdón? Rope. Mm. No sé si me escuché. Rope. <coughs> Jump the rope. The rope. Ah, okay. In the fall, Helen goes jumping. Eh, no, no les escucho bien. Look at me, rope. Lo puede escribir. Yeah. Let me send it to you. Pero ahí, ¿quiere poner go jumping o jumping jump? Jumping como saltar cuerda. Uh -huh. Ajá, exacto. Entonces puede poner jump, salta la cuerda. All right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, eso son. Gracias. Eso también en el chat box ahorita. Gracias. Do I have another volunteer? Mayrene, action. In the spring, Joel play tennis. In summer, my brothers go to beach. In the fall, my cousin goes to the park. In the winter, Maria goes drink coffee. Maria go drink coffee or Maria goes drink coffee? Goes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Goes. Very good. Thank okay. you. Now, another volunteer. Juan Jose, ya le puse ahí en el chat box. Eh, cuerda, right? Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez. Excellent, Yesenia. In summer, I go to the beach. In the spring, my family goes swimming. Mm -hmm, very good. My family goes swimming. Very good. Go swimming. Porque ellos equivalen al day. Go swimming. Very good, Yesenia. Thank you. Now. As maybe don't have, I don't have more volunteers. Let me pick and choose. Um, let's go with Alexis Balmore Guzman. Tell me your sentences, please. Uh, maybe you are talking. Quizás está hablando, pero no le escucho porque tiene el microphone off. Still can't hear you. Es que no lo ha encendido, no ha activado el micrófono. Perdón, me estaba dando problemas, teacher. Yeah. Eh, <laughs> eh, in the winter, my friends play hockey. Mm -hmm. In the fall, I play soccer and basketball. In the summer, he plays baseball and right, right. A bike. Very in good. Spring, huh? she go in, in spring, she goes skating. Goes skating. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Alexis. Let's go with the other Alexis. Alexis Hurtado, please. The other Alexis. I'm sorry, sir. I go to the gym twice a week. Uh, Maria practice soccer with her brother every afternoon. I don't play uh, volleyball very much, very much. I practice yoga when I can. Very good, excellent. Very good, you guys. Now you see, did you notice? Lograron notar algo. Ya no se les complicó tanto el simple present. Porque ya lo saben utilizar, all right? Con distinto vocabulary. Ese es el propósito que ustedes adquieran ese vocabulary. 
all right? Que ustedes sepan utilizarlo donde sea con cualquier tema, all right? Pero que sepan cómo se estructura todo. Hoy ya saben, ya saben manejar la third person singular, all right? Y no se nos olvida ya. De tanta práctica ya nos olvida. Now, let's move on. Simple present. <laughs> Jesus, se me va la voz. Simple present, WH questions and conversation. I love sports. Voy yo solita, primero. Flirting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. You're a really good athlete. When do you play? When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. All right? Por eso me reí porque él no practica nada. Solo los ve en televisión, all right? That was the funny part. <laughs> Now you guys Very hard. Yo espero en serio que esto no nos pase, sino que ustedes sí practiquen algo, right? Although I don't practice anything. <laughs> Le tengo miedo a todo, así que no practico nada. <laughs> so let's go. Let's get into the business. Yesenia, Yesenia, would you like to be Lauren? Me gustaría ser Lauren. Usted primero. Yes. Y, excellent. Y let me see. Néstor Amilcar, you are just in action. Oh, Asti, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're really good at reading. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play the, this sport. I just watched them in, on television. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, guys. Very nice pronunciation. Let's go with René Portillo. You are Justin. Beatriz Campos, you are Lauren. Action. So, Justin, what do you in the, your free time? Let me check. Creo que sí tiene, tiene el micrófono activado, René, pero no le escuchamos. All right. <laughs> okay, don't worry, René. Let's go with Alexis Hurtado. Fue el primerito que apareció en la cámara, Alexis. So let's check. Usted va a ser Justin. Se perdió también. Ah, no, ahí está. Let's see, uh, Alexis. Well. Ah, eh, well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, eh, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. You are really good athlete. When when do you play um this is a sport? Oh I don't play this is a sport. I just watch thing on television. Exactly, that's correct. Bravo, thank you guys. Okay. Now let me make a review of some words. Esta conversation, aunque está bien chiquita, puede tener una o dos palabras que nos cuesta, right? For example, athlete, atleta, right? O atlético. <laughs> athlete. Athlete. All right. Y tenemos otra. This. Este es un demonstrative. Right. This. These sports. Y watch. Recordemos que hay dos verbs que se parecen. Watch. De lavar. Y watch. De mirar. Entonces a este es donde más se le hace el énfasis a la T. Watch. Watch them on television. Watch them on television. Que esos son los únicos que podrían llegar a costarnos un poquito. Let's go with Marvin. Marvin, you are, you are Justin. <clears throat> Emma, you are Lauren. Action. 
So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When did you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. <laughs> Thank you. Every time I listen to that phrase, I I get so fun, right? I did. Culpa, pero cada vez que escucho esa frase, it's like, caí, caí yo leyendo la conversation y en serio, wow, que atlético. <laughs> I just watch them on television. Perhaps. That's the story of my life. So let's move on, you guys. Thank you. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. You are Lauren. Mayra, you are Justin. Action. Okay. So, Justin, what do you in your free time? Well, I, I love the sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? No, I don't play this sport. I just watch uh, 10 on the television. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's go with the last pair, Mayrene. You are Lauren. Usted va a ser Lauren and Cecilia Rodriguez. You are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, bas baseball, and soccer are my, my favorite. Oh. You are really good styling. When? Continua, Mayrene. Después de athlete? No, sorry. <laughs> when do you play all the sport? This. Oh. This sport. Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, girls. I don't have any anything to correct, right? Or I haven't noticed any mistake in the pronunciation so far. Hasta ahorita ninguna de las parejas que ha pasado ha tenido algún mistake o un error bien obvio, right? Que se tenga que corregir. No, todos están muy bien en la pronunciation. Y eso demuestra que se están practicando, right? Simple present questions, WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey. Hockey, everybody. Hockey, no, hockey. Hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once. Aquí no me vayan a decir once. Aquí es once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, let's get you some practice over here. Raquel Santos, you ask. Usted pregunta, Raquel, and... Catherine, Pamela, you answer. Usted responde, Catherine. Action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends who work. We have a team. Where to play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you do you practice? We practice one of twice a week. 
When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Alexis Balmore. You ask. Usted pregunta, Alexis Balmore? And Nerio, you answer. Please. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Who, baseball. Baseball. <laughs> Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at home. How often do you practice? We practice once on three a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent, bravo, thank you guys. Now, let's go with the last pair. Um, Jasmine, you ask. Jasmine, usted pregunta. Emma, you answer. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you play basketball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. Why, why what time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Thank you, girls, for your participation. Now, everybody, let's check this one. Marvin, tell me the structure, please. Okay, uh, WH or WAR. No, el, el guión como se dice. No, no aquí WAR. Ajá, exacto, ajá, sí, exacto, sí. Work. Plus do and does or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Excellent. Guión se dice dash, Marvin. Okay. Ajá, dash. Okay, thank you. So there you have it, guys. Very good. Thank you, Mark. This is the basic structure that we know from WH Words, right? Esta es la estructura básica. Que creo que ustedes ya la tienen un par de veces ahí repetidas, right? Es la misma structure. Pero quiero recordar que yo como teacher ahorita no me acuerdo qué es el do y el does. ¿Qué función ejerce el do y el does? ¿Qué son? Auxiliary. The auxiliary. Exacto. A decirles, Iba, no quiero la traducción, quiero la, lo que ejercen en la oración. Excellent. The auxiliaries. Very good. When do I use the auxiliaries? ¿Cuándo utilizo los auxiliaries? Does when is a first person. And do when is a... Uh, no, al revés. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Va bien, va bien, va bien. Does when is a third person and do when is a first person. Very good. Excellent. There you have it. Excellent. And In question, teacher. In, In question and short answer. Short answers. Very good. Exactly. In questions, short answers. And this 
plurals, right? No, the first person and the third person. Very good. Excellent. Eso siempre manténganlo en la mente. Ellas, digan, déjenme ver. Uh, Alexis Barmone se pronuncia dash. All right, guión, dash. There you have it. All right, guys. Ya con esa structure, veamos estos guiding examples. Um, Nestor, number one, please. What sport does Eunice play? Very good, Eunice. Qué bonito le salió la pronunciation de ese nombre. Eunice. Let's go with Juan José Pineda. Number two. Number two. Who do you play tennis with? Mm -hmm. Number three, Raquel Santos. Where does he play? Thank you. Beatriz Campos, number four. How often do they play practice? Okay. Thank you, All right? Those are basic questions, everyday questions. Esas son preguntas basic, básicas, all right? Que nos ayudan a mantener una conversation con alguien. Es obvio que al preguntarle algo a una persona no nos va a dejar en la nada, right? Sino que tiene que contestarnos. Entonces se genera este tipo de questions para saber una opinion from the person. Como ya notaron ustedes en los ejemplos anteriores. Now, uh, let me know because I know some of you are taking notes. Entonces me, me dicen finish cuando terminen de tomar nota, all right? Finish. 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 It was so quickly. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Ah, copy paste screenshots, ¿verdad? Ya lo sé. De ahí vengo. No critico porque de ahí vengo. <laughs> all right, you guys. Excellent. Let's move on. Guiding structure. Tenemos otra estructura, una parte, porque estás con el who. Ustedes ya conocen que el who es una WH word. ¿Por qué tiene una estructura aparte? Let's check. Um, Cecilia Romero, please tell me the structure. Ok. Giving structure. Who? ¿Cómo se dice? Plus. 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 Do. Or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus which. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Okay. Now let's check this one, everybody. Si ustedes ya tuvieron la opportunity de ver el video, ya habrán notado que en el video el teacher menciona que podemos quitar el noun, right? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir play tennis, solo quito tennis, que sería mi noun, right? Y dejar play. Usualmente dejamos el noun para hacerle saber a la persona de lo que estamos hablando, pero pues si ya se tiene un context y ya se sabe de lo que se está hablando, pueden quitarle el noun, right? Let's check what's going on with this. Les voy a mostrar los guiding examples. Emma, number one, please. Number one. Who does Martin play basketball with? Excellent, thank you. Mayra, number two, please. Where did you practice with? Mm -hmm. And number three. Marvin, with whom? With whom does Juan play? Excellent, very good. Let me show you, no, let me tell you something. What's the difference? There's no such a difference or there's no a big difference between all of those questions. The three. Thing, uh -huh. Number three. Yeah, in number different. two. Uh -huh, it's different, exactly. La diferencia está en la escritura, right? Pero en realidad vienen significando lo mismo. ¿Qué sucede? ¿Por qué específicamente con el who aplica esto? Bueno, ustedes tienen que conocer las dos formas, right? Cuando comenzamos con who, terminamos con el with, right? Esa es la más común, como menciona el teacher en el video. Es la más común, esa, o sea, la van a escuchar everywhere. Pero luego tenemos la number three, with whom. 
esa no es tan común, pero sí es correcto. All right? O sea, que no podemos corregir a alguien porque la utiliza así, porque está en su, en, tiene razón. All right? Entonces, esto es para que ustedes reconozcan, para que su oído reconozca both pronunciations, ambas pronunciaciones. All right? Es decir, yo puedo decir, with whom does one play? All right? Y también puedo decir, who does one play with? All right? No, 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 problema. I can use either of both choices. Now, with that being said, let's practice. Now, you can get practice time. Bueno, dice cuatro questions. Ahora solo vamos a crear una, at least. Catherine, tell me the instructions, please. Me lee las instrucciones, Catherine. Work as a world class. And grade at last. Four questions using WH words. And share your questions with the class. Excellent. Thank you, Catherine. All right, you guys. No creen las cuatro, solo creen una. All right. One question. Using WH words. Mr. Chen, yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How how often include them? Mm -hmm. Include. Include, yes. Yes. Okay. Fin Very good. Thank you. Now, um, let me tell you, you can use either ways or either structures. Cualquiera de las dos estructuras la pueden utilizar, right? Solo que la del who, la del who, perdón, se la sacaron aparte. Para que ustedes reconozcan que va a terminar la, la, la question con el with, right? Let me listen to your question, Emma. Who does he play soccer with your cousin? Mm. No. Cousin, ¿a él está preguntando? Cousin o, o cómo? No, vamos a ver. <ríe> es que yo le había hecho con how often, teacher. No me había fijado que era con who la pregunta. Entonces, no, ahorita el, estoy inventando. El, el, el how often es el how, Emma, oh. es parte de la WH word. Ok. How often do you play soccer with your team? Ah, very good. Or oh, with your cousin. Porque quería, quería pronunciar. Very good. Yes, guys. Sí, que la W, que la palabrita o el tema diga WH word. Y ustedes notan que el how no lleva WH, pero sí entra en esa categoría. All right. Es como el which. También. All right. Entra en esa categoría. All right, you guys. Let me listen just one more person and I let you go. Una persona más y lo dejo ir. Let me see. Uh -huh. Excellent. Let's go with Mayra. We does a play baseball wish. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Very good. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go to bed. Lo ya los dejo descansar. All right. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. If you have any see questions. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye.